What's up, guys? It's Super Heat Reporter back here again for another video. Today, I'm going to be doing my WWE Cruiserweight Classics uh, predictions. Uh, so, yeah, let me just start off saying that the first round, especially on the left side of the bracket, is very, very predictable. Uh, I don't think things really start to get very interesting until the second round. Then maybe some upsets happen. I don't know. Uh, I do feel kind of weird making the predictions video considering that the first round has already been taped. I haven't looked at any spoilers. Uh, pretty sure all my predictions are going to be right, for the at least for the first round, just because it's how predictable it is. But uh, So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the whole left side of the bracket first round, then do the right side first round, then do left second, right second, so on and so forth. So uh, yeah, uh, let's get a... Uh, first off, we have Kenneth Johnson against Akira Tozawa. So you've got a relatively unknown guy in Kenneth Johnson taking on an established veteran around the world in Akira Tozawa. Uh, I'm going to go with Tozawa to get the win. Uh, don't really have much to say about this match. Don't know much about Kenneth, Kenneth uh, Johnson. Been a fan of Tozawa for a while. Uh, really enjoy his work. So, uh, so yeah, excited to see uh, what Kenneth Johnson brings to the table. Next up, we have... Jack Gallagher against Fabian Eichner. Uh, Jack Gallagher being a very established technical wrestler in Europe, uh, most notably Progress Wrestling in England, uh, and Fabian Eichner. Uh, probably should have pulled up the the uh, profiles for all of these guys. I just didn't really think about it. Uh, think Gallagher or Jack Gallagher, whatever you want to say. I'm just going to say Gallagher because that's what it looks like to me. Um, I haven't seen much of Gallagher. I watched his match with Zack Sabre, not Zach, not Sabre Jr., uh, with a... Uh, who, who did he... Oh, my God. My mind just went blank. I watched his qualifying match. I thought it was good. want to see more of him, though. I cannot think of who he wrestled. It, I can't think of it. It, it completely, completely escapes me. Oh, yeah. Was it Pete Dunn? I think it's Pete Dunn. But, uh, yeah. Uh, really liked it. Want to see more of them. Think he, I think they're interested in him, too. I wouldn't be surprised if he got signed uh, after the tournament. But, uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully, that's a good match. So, again, again, I'm excited to see all the guys that WWE kind of just put in there just to give them a chance, just to showcase some guys from around the world. Because I always like to expand like my knowledge of wrestling just to see new guys perform and do their thing. So, uh, yeah, next up we have Tajiri against Damian Slater. Uh, Tajiri, obviously, being a former cruiserweight champion, like heavyweight champion, uh, ECW original. I think he was a tag team champion in ECW. Uh, very established in Japan, all over the world. Uh, against Damian Slater. Again, don't know much about Damian Slater. Uh, I think Tajiri wins. But I do not think Tajiri, I don't know. I, yeah, Tajiri definitely gets the win. Uh, excited to see Tajiri back. I think, I want to say I heard that they re-signed him. Could be wrong, correct me if I am. But, uh, yeah, excited for that. Next up, we have Alejandro Saez against Grand Metallic. I think Metallic gets the win here. If you don't know him, they repackaged him. I don't necessarily like how they repackaged a guy for a tournament. He was Mas Mascara Dorada in CMLL and New Japan Pro Wrestling, but uh, repackaged him for whatever reason. Yeah, I think Metallic gets the win here. Uh, not much to say about this. Next up, we have I think it's Harv Sierra, one of the one half of the Bollywood Boys, uh, against Drew Gulak. Uh, Sierra, I think, is kind of new to wrestling uh, against Gulak, who has been wrestling for a while now. Uh, I think Gulak definitely gets the win here. Uh, but I would not be surprised if the Bollywood Boys get signed because they seem like they have a lot of personality and think they would be a nice addition to the tag team division. Uh, hold on a second, guys. Next up, we have Zack Sabre Jr. against Tyson Dukes. I've heard nothing but good things about Tyson Dukes. Or Ducks, I don't know. I'm going to say Dukes. Uh, heard nothing but good things about him. But I think Zack Sabre Jr. is one of the heavy favorites to win this tournament. He's my pick to win the tournament, spoiler alert. But yeah, uh, excited to see Tyson Dukes. Never seen Tyson Dukes next. But 
think this could be a good match, but I'm really excited to see Zack Sabre Jr., and I think that he is going to pull the victory off of this match. Next up, we have Noam Dar against Gerv Sira. Uh, all right, thank you for the correction. Uh, mildly moderate. Uh, uh, what are they doing? Yeah, I definitely think I think Dar is going to get the win here. I don't think the Bollywood boys are going to get past round one. Uh, and I'm excited to see more of Noam Dar. I've seen a little bit of his matches, but uh, definitely want to see more of him. Let me see if I can pull up the Cruiserweight Classic profiles. And the final match for round one on the left side is Aria Davari against Ho Ho Loon. I think the WWE is very, very big on Ho Ho Loon, so that's why I think he will get this victory uh, against Davari. But I do think uh, Ho Ho Loon gets signed. It's cool to see uh, a relative of a former WWE star in the match. Uh, so, uh, yeah, but I do think Ho Ho Loon gets the win here. So next up on the right side, we have Raul Mendoza against the returning Brian Kendrick. Excuse me. I uh, think Kendrick gets the win here. Uh, I think the reason they put guys like Tajiri and Brian Kendrick is to get maybe older fans that were around in their, I don't want to say glory days, but back when they were a little bit more prominent in WWE, uh, just so they can get some eyes in. Uh, I think he gets the win over Rebel Mendoza. So, yeah, moving on. We have Anthony Bennett against Tony Nese. I uh, really like Tony Nese's work. I've uh, been following him since he started, since around WrestleMania, no, since about Christmas 2013 when I got into PWG. I think he had just started over there. Really like his work. But I'm excited to see Anthony Bennett again. So, yeah, next up we have Another heavy favorite in Kota Ibushi against Sean Maluda. Uh, definitely think Ibushi's going to win. Not much to say about that. Just Ibushi's going to win. Next up, we got Cedric, Cedric, sorry, Cedric Alexander against Clement Petois, I think. I think it's French. Uh, been a fan of Cedric for a while. Like it's, I really enjoy his work in PWG. I uh, definitely think he gets the win here. Hopefully that's a good match. Sorry, guys. Next up, I think what I think is could be a match between two very similar guys personality-wise. You have TJ Perkins taking on DeMac out of Germany. Uh, I think TJ Perkins gets the win here, but I think this should be a very good match. could be a very big sleeper match to most people. Uh, I want to say their styles contrast, if I'm not mistaken, and they... They both have a lot of charisma, so uh, I think they could blend very well. Next up, we have one of the most interesting matches in the whole tournament. We have Johnny Gargano against Tommaso Ciampa. Um, I think Gargano definitely gets the win here since his style suits the cruiserweight a little bit more. Uh, Gargano, another one of my favorites, taking nothing away from Tommaso Ciampa, who is another very talented competitor. Next up, we have Mustafa Ali against Lince Dorado. Lince Dorado is a guy who has been wrestling forever, and I don't think it's ever really gotten the uh, acknowledge it that it that he really deserves. Very talented, been all over the world. Uh, very glad to see him on the big stage now. But I think think Lince Dorado is going to get the win over Mustafa Ali. Next up, we have Rich Swan. I'm sorry, I can't say his name because I've, my brace just gives me a very terrible list. Rich Swan against Jason Lee out of China. I think Rich Swan gets the win here, just so they can have another WWE guy or NXT guy moving on in the tournament. So yeah, moving on to the left side of the bracket for round two, we have Akira Tozawa against Jack Gallagher. I think Tozawa gets the win over Gallagher. I wouldn't be surprised if Tozawa gets signed following the tournament. I think he's another guy that they're very heavily favoring. Uh, next up, we have Tajiri against Grand Metallic. Hold on a second, guys. 
I think this should be a very nice match featuring the Japanese strong style against the Lucha Libre high flying style. Uh, I think Tajiri does get the win here. Just to just because I think they want to showcase his the skill that he still has. He's still a very talented competitor. Wouldn't mind seeing him use the mist. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that should be a great should should be a good match. Next up, which could be a this could be a very great match. Drew Gulak against Zack Saber Jr. Again, Saber Jr. is my pick to win, so therefore he is going to win this match. But I think these two guys could benefit very well from facing each other. Very good contrasting styles. But again, Saber gets the win. Next up, we have Noam Dar against Ho Ho Loon. I think that Ho Ho Loon is going to get the win over Noam Dar. This could go either way. Wouldn't be surprised if Noam Dar wins. Wouldn't be surprised if Ho Ho Loon wins. But I'm going to go with Ho Ho Loon. Uh, just because I think that the WWE is very high on him. Next up, for the second round, on the right side of the bracket, we have Brian Kendrick against Anthony Nese. This, again, could go either way, but I'm going to go with Anthony Nese for the fact that Brian Kendrick doesn't really benefit anything from being in this tournament. Yes, he gets eyes back on him, but Tony Nese is a guy that I think the WWE could benefit from immensely, and he could be a very, very big name in the WWE, I think. Just because he has the look, he has the skills, he has the charisma, he's got everything that he needs. Uh, Kendrick doesn't really need... I mean, I explained it very well in a group chat that I'm in. Let me see. Uh, Kendrick and Tajiri. Tajiri, I does, do think, will get kind of far in the tournament, but I think them winning the first round it would be cool just so they could get a win but i don't think neither neither of them really need to get past the second round uh so yeah tony needs gets the win here next up we have this could be a very very good match too cody ibushi against cedric alexander i think cody ibushi the heavy favorite gets the win against cedric alexander but this could be a very this will be a very good match next up we have tjp against johnny gargano I think Gargano gets the win here against TJ Perkins. Should be a very good match. I want to say they've had a match before. I could be wrong. Correct me if I am. I want to say they met in Battle of Los Angeles 2014. If they met, it was in PWG, but I'm not sure. So, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. Or they've met in Evolve recently. I don't know. Could be wrong. Uh, next up, we have Lince Dorado against Rich Swan. Rich Swan gets the win. This should be a good match. These, these guys go way back and drag it. USA evolved. CZW, FIP maybe? But yeah, I think, think uh, Rich Swan gets the win. Next up to the semifinal round matches for the west side of the bracket. We have Akira Tozawa against Tajiri. Uh, should be a great match. Japanese strong styles going back, back and forth. Uh, Akira Tozawa gets the win against Tajiri. Could symbolize the passing of the passing of the torch for Japanese wrestling here. Should be a great match. Next up, we have Zack Saber Jr. against Ho Ho Loon. Uh, hopefully, this is a good match. Really excited to see what could come out of this. Assuming this is a match that happens, but again, Zack Saber Jr. might pick to win. Therefore, he will beat Ho Ho Loon. Semifinals for the right, right side of the bracket. Again, this could be a very great. This this could be a great match. Anthony Nice against Cody Bushi. Very two high flyers. Sorry, guys. But great strikers as well. Thank you, Bushi does get the win, though. Next, we have Gargano against Rich Swan. This match is probably going to happen just because they want they want a NXT guy in the finals final four. So I think Johnny Gargano is going to get the win, but it could go either way. But I think Gargano is going to personally get the win. And then for the... Uh, I'm sorry, that was the quarterfinals. Sorry, guys. Uh, so, yeah, uh, semifinals for the right side of the bracket, Zack Sabre Jr. against Akira Tozawa. This match happened in PWG, I want to say, at either Bowie or Lemmy. Pretty sure, one of the two. Uh, haven't seen it yet. Heard it was good. Uh, heard it was a lot of comedy, though, so hopefully it'll be, they'll take a more serious approach to this. Uh this should be a great tech technical match as well as a good striking match, but I think Sabre Jr. gets the win, of course. And then next up, we have Gar Johnny Gargano against Kota Ibushi. 
don't think this match has ever happened. This is personally a dream match of mine. I think Ibushi gets to win after a long, hard fart. I just pulled a cane. Long, hard fart? No, hard fought match. Uh, Cody Ibushi definitely gets to win. And then for the finals, Zack Sabre Jr. against Cody Ibushi. I think this is the finals for mostly everybody. I uh, think Gargano is mixed in there for some people, but I think this is definitely going to be the finals in my opinion. Zack Sabre Jr. against Kota Ibushi should be an amazing match. Don't think they've ever met. Maybe they've met in a tag team match, maybe, down the line. I don't think they have, though. No, they haven't. They've never met before. But, uh, yeah, should be a great match. Technical, striking, high-flying from Ibushi, everything you could ever ask for. But I think Zack Sabre Jr. gets the win. Uh, and I think Zack Sabre Jr., will definitely get signed along with Ibushi or Tony Nies. Uh Hopefully, I, would, I say a, lot, a handful of these guys. Maybe a little bit under half at least get signed. Uh, but yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave your predictions down in the comments. Maybe not the whole tournament, maybe, maybe your final four. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next video.